Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our infectious disease series. Today we're talking about uh, nuclear scans and uh, how to differentiate, differentiate between using a gallium scan or an indium scan. I think this is uh, an important topic. So gallium scans have been used for decades, obviously it came out before indium scans did. The body handles gallium like it does iron, uh, thus it binds it to transferrin, binds it to leukocyte lactoferrin, uh, as well as inflammatory proteins and leukocyte membranes. And it, it doesn't matter whether the leukocytes are dead or alive. So when live leukocytes migrate to an area of inflammation and degranulate, uh, this releases uh, a large amount of lactoferrin. So advantage of gallium over indium, we'll talk about indium in just a second, Gallium is good for osteomyelitis of the spine, specifically lung infections, and more chronic infections than acute infections. Um, now, indium-111 scans is better for more acute infections, uh, where leukocytes are still actively dividing. Uh, so it's very good for osteomyelitis, inter interestingly, in non-spine areas, as well as abdominal and pelvic infections when you've got a fever of unknown origin. You don't have a lot to go on in terms of other types of scans. So for people with FUO uh, or fever of unknown origin, we can use both scans. Um, but the indium scans will image only about 25 percent of such infections that are acute uh, in nature, whereas gallium scans will be more helpful in chronic infections or uh, in tumors. So that's one of the ways that you can uh, differentiate. There, it's not a perfect nuclear scan, either one, uh, but it can be helpful, especially in our patients with uh, FUO. <clears throat> so nice differentiation. Uh, thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing up.